down to the clubhouse. Just saying. Harry Smith, NBC News, Boston. That will do it for us on a Monday night. I'm Lester Holt. For all of us at NBC News, thank you for watching and good night. Your one news source. This is News Center One. Good evening, I'm Shad Olson. This is News Center One at 5.30. Stats are rolling in from the Highway Patrol, and they paint a stark picture of South Dakota roads. From 6 a.m. Sunday through 6 a.m. today, there have been six fatalities in Sturgis and the Rapid City area. At this time last year, there have been no fatal crashes. There have also been 35 non-injury accidents and 55 accidents with injuries, with more being reported throughout the day. The sobering statistics underscore the importance of staying safe on area roads. Always obey posted speed limit signs, wear seat belts, watch for bikes, and of course, wear proper safety gear when you're riding as well. Rapid City Police releasing new information following the death on a Watertown street Friday morning. Police have identified the deceased as 35-year-old Susanna Swifthawk. Authorities say they were called to the home on Watertown street shortly after 3.30 Friday morning for an unknown problem. It appeared that the woman had fallen down a flight of stairs in the basement of the home. An autopsy revealing the cause of death could be blunt force trauma, which could be a result of a fall. Police and the Pennington County Sheriff's Office continue to investigate that death. Black Hills engine captain David Rule, who died while battling a California wildfire, as we told you last week, being transported to Mount Shasta today. Rule, accompanied by engines from the Modoc National Forest, also being joined by other fire departments during portions of that journey. The U.S. Forest Service says that an autopsy is being conducted to determine Rule's cause of death. The service says this is another step in the investigation to determine how that fatality occurred and what lessons can be learned for firefighters. Other firefighters saying they're trying to cope and continue doing their jobs. Definitely it's hard. It, a fire community is definitely di bigger than any other job I think out there. U.S. and Forest Service flags on Forest Service land or forest land have been ordered to fly at half staff in rules honor until August 6th. Democratic State Representative Paula Hawks announcing her plans to challenge Republican U.S. Representative Kristi Noem in the 2016 elections for her spot in Congress. Hawks says that South Dakota residents deserve better representation from someone who listens. She wants to focus on seniors, farmers and ranchers, equality for women, education and student loan debt. Noem has more than $1.2 million in the bank in her campaign war chest, that after she wrapped up the fundraising quarter that ended in June in that federal reporting period. Noem won against her Democratic challenger by more than 30 percentage points in 2014. And here's a look at today's Monday markets on Wall Street. And this is the third day of August. The Dow Jones continuing a retreat in what are known as the dog days of summer once we hit this uh, trading portion of the calendar. The Dow falling 92 points today, 17,599. The Nasdaq Composite down 13 to 51.15. The S&P down 6 to 2,098. And gold down $5.20 to what is nearing a, a very low point in terms of that market. The dollar continuing to strengthen, that having an effect across the commodities board, $1,084.20 on this Monday day of trade. If you want to take the scenic drive through Skyline Drive, you're going to have to make new plans. The intersection of Skyline Drive and Florman Street now closed to through traffic for utility and street reconstruction work. That work is part of the Skyline Drive Wilderness Park Trailhead Development Project. Detour routes will be marked. The work is expected to be completed by August 7th. There are events all over the Black Hills celebrating, of course, the 75th annual Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. Coming up later in our show, meteorologist Bob Riggio joins us live with a look at one of the most popular motorcycle rides of the rally. One guess based on that picture where he may be hanging out today. And we have a check of your Rally Week forecast and more right here on News Center 1 at 530. This is News Center 1 with Chad Olson. Sports with Justin Wickersham. And weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Riggio. Legend Steakhouse at the historic Franklin Hotel. We're rolling, Wyoming, sun 
shining, wheels rolling, rivers flowing, it's mind blowing. Visit wyomingtourism.org for a whole calendar of fun summer events. I hope that when my patients come away from visiting with us here, they know that we really listen and that we really care. My caregivers perceive me as energetic and I give 110% of my heart to my job. People really are partners here, from the nursing staff to the administrative team to all the caregivers in between. I am regional health. I am regional health. I am Regional Health. Join us at the Central States Fair August 14th through the 23rd as we celebrate 70 years of food on a stick. Grandstand passes are on sale now for nine nights of fun, including Super Cross Races, Johnson Machine Napa Demo Derby, Black Hills Power Concert Series featuring Randy Hauser, Big and Rich, and the Eli Young Band. The Ranch Rodeo is back along with three nights of PRCA Rodeo. Grandstand passes are on sale now at these outlets or online. Make plans now for the 70th Annual Central States Fair in Rapid City. Melanie Palm with Body Wisdom offers you support in deepening your health. Melanie is internationally certified both as a Phoenix Rising Yoga Therapist and as a Body Talk Practitioner. Phoenix Rising Yoga Therapy supports you in reconnecting with yourself and in listening to your heart, head, and gut. Body Talk supports you in resynchronizing your body systems so they can operate as nature intended. Find out about Body Wisdom, call or text Melanie Palm at 484-6765. With the congested highways and roads, with all the motorcycles in the area, accidents happen, as we've already seen statistically right here in this edition of the Sturgis Rally. One group of bikers is helping to make the aftermath of wrecks just a little easier to cope with. The Christian Motorcyclist Association has volunteers that come from across the country to help at Rapid City Regional Hospital during the rally. The association gives aid to riders who have been injured in order to get them back on their feet again and help them make their way home. Volunteers have been lending a hand in Rapid City for the past 12 years. We've all heard that the 75th Annual Sturgis Rally will be one for the books, and the mayor of Sturgis is making sure that it will be while keeping some traditions alive. News Center 1's Monica Davis is telling us about one tradition that's been around for 13 years. The 75th Annual Sturgis Rally kicked off downtown with the mayor's ride. We're going on the 13th Annual Mayor's Ride, uh, raise some money for the volunteer fire department, the police VIPs, uh, wounded Warrior Project and just fellowship and enjoying the beautiful Black Hills. Planning for the 75th rally has taken years and a ride with 250 people takes careful planning as well. Something like this, uh, there's months and months of preparation and getting everything lined out. A lot of work and my hat's off to staff very much so. And the mayor says he looks forward to Rally Week all year long. I'm blessed for everything we have here. The city of Sturgis welcomes all these people coming to town, and it's, we're just lucky to have it. The ride highlighted gems of the Black Hills, including Mount Rushmore, and ended with a ride through Custer State Park, a tradition hopefully to look forward to next year. For News Center 1, I'm Monica Davis. Chad, back to you. And along with the mayor here at News Center 1, we also welcome all the riders to the Black Hills area to be part of the 75th. And we'll be right back after the break. Oh, hey, you got one of those insurance apps too? You know how this thing works? No, I'm sorry. Not an app, it's my agent. In this moment. No, I'm fine, thanks. It's good to know you have a trusted, independent auto owner's insurance agent who's there when you need them. Great. Man, I gotta get one of those. Auto owner's insurance. The no problem people. Black Hills Insurance Agency is your local independent auto owner's insurance agency. Hola, our friends. We welcome you to the Sandy Swallow Gallery. Here you can find some of the finest Native American and South Dakota artwork in the nation. Looking forward to seeing you at the Swallow Gallery in Hill City, South Dakota. What started out as Girls Club in 1965, Youth and Family Services has grown to become one of the most comprehensive and respected family development programs in Western South Dakota. 
YFS serves more than 11,000 children and their families each year, encouraging them to go beyond the possible and discover their dreams through education, nutrition, advocacy, and prevention services. Find out how you can help support children and families in your community by visiting YFSFoundation.org or call 342-4195. Welcome to High Country Guest Ranch, where Western and Native American cultures unite. Spacious log homes and camping cabins wait your arrival in the heart of the beautiful Black Hills. Close to Mount Rushmore and Crazy Horse, it is the perfect place for your Black Hills vacation. The High Country Outdoor Theater is the summer home of Brulee, the number one Native American show in the country. The popular Circle B Chuck Wagon is serving up tasty cowboy dinners and Western harmonies. Come on out for an afternoon trail ride, an evening show, or spend the weekend with us. We'd love to have you. Champions, Zachary and Yvette. I'm very competitive. You can't give it up like that. <laughs> you know that wasn't right. <laughs> All new Hollywood Game Night, Tuesday, 10, 9 central on NBC. Craig Robinson has a special way to talk to the ladies. Can I come talk to you? Is it okay if I come talk to you right now? <laughs> you gonna stay right there. Wait for me, baby. Wait for me, baby. Here I come to talk to you. Mr. Robinson premieres Wednesday, 9, 8 central on NBC. This weather brought to you by Black Hills Power. This is New Center One. Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Riggio. Welcome back, everybody. We are live at the historic Franklin Hotel in downtown historic Deadwood. And let me tell you, folks, Deadwood, like all the other communities in the Black Hills and out in the uh, prairies to the east, is just jumping with uh, riders and motorcycles and uh, everything. This is the, ha the happening place right here. Anywhere in the country, this week, you need to be right here in the Black Hills enjoying the 75th anniversary of the Sturgis Rally. With me is Greg Gloat, uh, floor supervisor with the uh, Franklin. How's it going, man? You've been pretty it's going great. It's going great. The Legends Ride. Early this morning, uh, how did that go? It was amazing with the rally in full swing on uh, the first day. Uh, the Buffalo Chip hosts the Legends Ride, right. and uh, um, we get the um, opportunity to, to kick it off here. Everybody meets here, registers, um, lines up, and then the ride takes off. You guys host the thing pretty much. We get it going for sure. Yeah. Um, there's, <laughs> there's still a lot of events that happen at the Buffalo Chip later on. This is the eighth anniversary of the Legends Ride, and uh, up to now they've collected four hundred thousand dollars for charities special olympics yes they've done an amazing job for several different charities um uh they've they've bought an entire bus for the special olympics yeah, get those guys right. to and from their that's athletic right. events that's right um but yeah all their all their help is a, a little fly in the ointment they had to change the route they usually go down uh, 385 to Nemo Road to Van Acker Canyon which is a beautiful ride beautiful. down in the Sturgis but I think because of the uh, construction that's going on uh, here in Deadwood on the east side of town leading to 385 they had to change the route yep that's correct they left here out of Deadwood and they ended up in Belfouche shot across towards Newell and then down into the Buffalo nothing Street. wrong with Belfouche <laughs> no, no nothing, wrong with Belfouche. Know, nothing wrong with Belfouche or, or or Newell, and then they, they came in uh, via Bear Butte. They yeah, did, yep, yep. And they're down there now uh, being treated in a special way by the chip, food and... Uh, That's correct, banquets and... Banquets uh, and all that good they stuff. They auctioned off a couple of motorcycles today, and they're giving those away. <laughs> okay, the Franklin is part of the uh, Silverado Franklin Gaming uh, community. That we are, yep. Tell us about uh, craps and roulette. You guys just started that. We did. We started it July 1st. Um, it's been a big hit, uh, roulette and craps. Uh, we, we have roulette going every single day. Um, we take a couple days off for craps just to kind of regroup, but uh, it's, it's uh, pretty heavy on the manpower, but it's been um, amazing. People love those games. C craps is a crowd draw. I mean, people get excited, they're shouting, they're screaming, and that, and that brings in the, uh, in the crowd. It does. People yeah. have a great time, get on a good roll, and... Uh, and, and you had to go to school, right? <laughs> we did. We, um, several of us went to a six-week school yeah. um, to get going on it. it um, 
turned out to be about seven days a week for us. Um, the school was five days a week, and then, of course, we get to work on the weekends. So. All right, yeah, yes, you do. Thank you. Thank you so much. You bet. And I understand the Legends ride went off without a hitch uh, this uh, this morning or, or early this afternoon. They all left here around 2 or 3? Yep, they left here at 3 o'clock. They started filing in about 10.30 this morning. So At least 400 bikers left uh, Deadwood for the, for the chip. That's correct. That's amazing. Yeah. Yep. Thanks a lot, Greg. You Appreciate bet. it. Thank you, Bob. All right, I got to go do the weather here. All right, let's uh, start off by, I believe we're going to look at the uh, currents. Uh, we're going to pop that one on up there. Let's take a look. There, no, we got the uh, the Almanac, 83, that high temperature today after a morning low of uh, 56. And you can see the uh, sun up, sun down uh, times. Clouds are thickening up here at Deadwood, and there's a possibility we could have some rain later on this evening. Currently, uh, this is out at the airport, 81 degrees, uh, plenty of uh, sunshine. And we see those winds are generally out of the east, southeast at 10. Here are the high temperatures all across the uh, country again. Range here, hot and humid of the southeast. We see some triple digits down over the uh, desert southwest. High pressure right over the uh, top of us. Today, but that low you see just to our southwest, there it goes. It's going to move south of Rapid City, but that's going to bring up a little bit more moisture, a little bit of instability, and I believe we'll see uh, some of those uh, showers already now developing over in Wyoming. Some of those showers will be sliding into the uh, Black Hills later on this evening. Then we have that stationary front laying right over uh, the uh, Black Hills uh, on uh, Wednesday, and that could trigger even more showers. There you go. Here's our future satellite radar, and you can see just some isolated showers uh, tonight and then with that stationary front on Tuesday we stopped at 3 p.m. Uh, tomorrow afternoon again that's going to be the uh, focal point for more shower activity and then that stationary front just sort of drifts off to the uh, to the east on Wednesday and it uh, should be taking those showers with it so fairly good chance we'll see some showers uh, tonight and again Wednesday after or Tuesday afternoon but should be a clearing out uh, uh, by Wednesday. Here's the uh, expected rainfall totals. It'll be hit and miss, splash and dash variety. Uh, there is a, flash, uh, a flood watch in effect uh, through Tuesday evening, beginning uh, tomorrow. Uh, it's because of that stationary front. So these showers that do develop, they're not going to be moving very much. They're going to be fairly stationary. And, uh, and, and there's going to be some locally heavy rains and some local flooding is possible. Here's the forecast for tonight, 61, mostly cloudy, and we'll have a few little showers and thunderstorms. And tomorrow, 82, uh, showers, thunderstorms, some locally heavy because of the shower activity to end by midnight. Here's that seven-day forecast, and you can see... Uh, and there's that possibility of showers not only uh, tomorrow, maybe a little bit of a break on Wednesday, but we are expecting to see uh, more showers and thunderstorms back into the forecast on Thursday. After all, this is rally week. Every, uh, for the 15 years I've been here, we've had thunderstorms at some time during rally week. Uh, this, uh, this year should not be any exception. All right, Chad, I'm gonna throw it back to you. You gotta do click big deals for me. All right, Bob, no problem and uh, continue to enjoy the rally festivities. As we know, uh, Deadwood, one of the busier stops throughout the Black Hills as well for riders uh, making their way along some of those beautiful roadways uh, in and around the Black Hills as well. Click big deals tonight. Weathered Vane is the uh, uh, beneficiary with uh, them offering a $30 coupon. You can get that for just $15, and for $15 you get $30 worth of goods at Weathered Vane, and there you see it. It is sold out at clickbigdeals.com. Now, the buzz in the garden is all about bees. Master Gardener Mel Glover explains why you need to leave these workers bee in tonight's Bobtanical Garden. Bobtanical, sponsored by True Green. For all your lawn, tree, and shrub care, along with pine beetle protection, think True Green this spring. Again, welcome to Botanical Garden. With me is Mel Glover, Master Gardener. I'm Bob Riggio. Uh, Mel, we're going to talk about the leaf cutter bee. It's, it's a friendly bee. Leave it alone. It's not going to cause any damage to any of the plots, but it, it may look like it's causing some damage. Right. And what, what happens is it looks like somebody has gone around with a paper punch on the leaves uh -huh. and punched out all of these little parts of the leaf. And in reality, what's happening, the, the, beef cutter, uh, the leaf cutter bee is a native pollinator. And so it's taking those little bits and pieces of the leaf back to its nest, 
building cells for more bees. Okay. So they're not hurting a thing. They're native. And it, great it, pollinator. Even though they uh, they nip away at the edges of the leaves, it, it's not going to kill the plant, it, is it? It doesn't hurt the plant a bit. In fact, we've had people ask us, should I cut off my roses? Because it affects my roses, uh, the, the peonies and lilacs. Yeah. But no, you don't have to damage the flowers or cut them and throw them away. They will be okay. It just looks a little funny. Yeah, yeah. So just leave them alone. Let the bees do their thing. It's not going to hurt the plants. Nope. And uh, so there, there basically is no control for uh, Correct. leaf cutter bees. We don't want to, We don't want to control them because they are the yeah. native pollinators. They're, okay. they're good guys to have. And they don't sting. If they do, you won't even feel it. Well, you it. might, but I wouldn't feel it. You though. wouldn't feel it. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you're, you got calluses <laughs> on your hands. I, I don't. <laughs> I just got to hit a little button every once in a while. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Mel. Join us next week on Botanical Garden. Miranda Lambert on tour. Hotter than ever. Roadside bars and pink guitars. Saturday, September 26th, Rushmore Plaza Civic Center. You'll find out when I pull the the record breaking award winner, bringing the party. Starring Miranda Lambert, special guest Ray Lynn, plus Claire Dunn and Courtney Cole. Tickets are on sale right now. At the box office, the Silver Auto, 1 800 Got Mine and GotMine.com. Too busy to attend classes and find a career you were born for? WDT offers four programs completely online. Create a schedule that works for you and advance your career today. With the WDT Business Program, learn to market and manage a business or even start your own. Business programs are offered 100% online. Let WDT help you find the career you were born for on your terms. Log on to WDT.edu to find out more and to see all of WDT's online options. Hot temperatures call for cool deals, and it doesn't get much cooler than 32 ounces for only 89 cents. That's right, for only 89 cents, you can get 32 ounces of your favorite fountain drink at Common Sense. Ice cold refreshment in your choice of flavors. You can even add one of our flavor shots to make your 32 ounce fountain drink uniquely yours. So let the temperature get hot. Common Sense will keep you cool. With 32 ounces of your favorite fountain drink for only 89 cents. Common Sense. Now that's cool. Spearfish is a focal point for tourism, is rich in history, arts and entertainment, and is a retail trade center. Visit these great downtown shops in Spearfish, South Dakota. Auto Doctors is a full-service auto maintenance and tire center. They've been in business for 10 years and feature ASC certified and Bosch certified techs. Stop by or call the Auto Doctors today. With Spearfish's resort-like natural setting, enjoy exploring downtown Spearfish and discover everything it has to offer for the whole family. This is New Center One Sports with Justin Wickersham. The Jack Pine Gypsies first introduced the hill climb competition at the Sturgis Rally back in 1961. Since then, it has become one of the rally's most popular events, attracting riders from all over the region who try to conquer the 240 foot hill. It's just one of the many events taking place this week at the Jack Pine Gypsies Club grounds in Sturgis. And it appears we have the wrong highlights there. There we go. Now let's take you to the highlights. We will start with the Pee Wee division and one of the youngest riders, Jackson Phillips, just two and a half years old. He only made it 42 feet, but probably better than I could do. And now to Aiden McBride. He made it 63 feet on this attempt. However, he won this division after traveling 245 feet on his first attempt. Now let's move over to the main part of the hill. This is the ADCC class. A good start for Taylor Earhart, but then he ends up flipping his dirt bike after 81 feet. Now to the 86 to 200 CC division. Cole Copang won this class after making it 159 feet up the hill. A very nice run. Moving on now to the 201 to 250 class. At first it appeared we might have our first rider make it all the way up to the top of the hill. But Taylor Finn falls off and his bike goes flying off the course. Overall, Dylan Varnes finished first in this class with a distance of 165 feet. This is Stan Allard of Rapid City competing in the 40 plus class. In fact, he's 66 years old and he bought this bike back in 1972. It was a great effort today by Allard. And one of the top runs all day belonged to Troy Finn who competed in a few different classes. He managed to make it 219 feet after the dust cleared. Just a reminder, the Pro Hill Climb will take place this Friday at 10 a.m. in Sturgis. 
Well, the Toronto Blue Jays are stacked by anyone's measure after pulling off a few big trades last week. David Price officially joined the pitching staff today, and he started for the Blue Jays, who hosted the Minnesota Twins. David Price received a standing ovation from the sellout crowd before today's game. And David Price didn't disappoint the fans with his first pitches. Here he strikes out his first batter, Brian Dozier. But David paid the price in the top of the second inning. Torrey Hunter connects and goes deep. His 17th home run this season and the Twins go up one to nothing. Jumping ahead to the bottom of the fifth inning now. Josh Donaldson drives one deep to right field. His 27th home run and that gave the Blue Jays a 3-1 to one lead. But the day really belonged to David Price. He worked eight innings and had 11 strikeouts. And Toronto opens the four-game series today with a 5-1 to one win over the Minnesota Twins. And that's a look at sports. We'll be right back in a moment. Speed. Reliability. Performance. Quality. Everything you like about your truck, you will like about Quick Lube. Stop by and their professional staff will perform a tire rotation, 16-point inspection, chassis lube, and an engine and oil filter change. Plus, receive a free super tunnel car wash. Now offering tire rotations during your oil change. Quick Lube is your no-appointment, one-stop oil change and tire rotation shop. A memorable and affordable family vacation at Mount Rushmore begins here at the Rushmore Express Hotel, just two miles from Mount Rushmore. Rushmore Express is centrally located in the Black Hills and offers premier family-friendly lodging with spacious suites and vacation packages for the ultimate getaway. We provide all guests with a deluxe complimentary breakfast, high-speed wireless internet access, an exercise room, indoor pool, and more right here at the Rushmore Express Hotel. Rod Woodruff presents Def Leppard at the Sturgis Buffalo Show with Skid Row. Friday, August 7th. Legendary Buffalo Chip. Get your passes now. At BuffaloChip.com. Serato with Deadwood. Hot Mothers and Sturgis. Rice Victory and Rapid City. And at the Buffalo Chip Gate. The research here at St. Jude is very important. It gave my daughter a second chance at life. Because we have donors that believe in what we're doing, we can really move our research forward much faster. St. Jude is working to drive the overall survival rate for childhood cancer to 90% in the next decade. And we won't stop until no child dies from cancer. Because of you. Gracias a ti. Because of you. There is St. Jude. Well, it is the best burger battle of the year, and our own chief meteorologist Bob Riggio getting a front row seat to take in all the tasty action. For the second year in a row, Bob Riggio judging the cook-off challenge as cooks go head-to-head -head for the chance to be called the best. The competition being put on earlier today, presented by Weber Grills and Harley Davidson. Terry Holman from Thornton, Colorado, getting bragging rights with her dynamite burger. She wins a complete Weber grilling package, but the real winner, of course, well, he's the guy who gets to uh, claim celebrity privilege and taste all those amazing entrees. So as Bob does every year, he took part in the uh, burger battle. We'll have to get more from him uh, live and in person uh, about that coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. Meanwhile, he's standing by with one last check of our uh, weather forecast in Deadwood, where, of course, there's that uh, rally spillover that happens each and every year. Bob? There's Spearfish Canyon, a quick trip to Rochford, back here to Deadwood. I was a little skeptical about a million bikers uh, during this rally. Not anymore. I'm definitely, there will be a million bikers, maybe even more than that. Let's look at the uh, seven-day uh, forecast real quick. And you can see temperatures will be in the 80s, and there's always that chance for an afternoon shower or a thunderstorm. Shad, back to you. All right. Thank you, Bob. And Justin at the hill climb. Kind of some cool Exciting. cool stuff happening up there, too. Yeah, we got the pro hill climb this Friday starting at 10 a.m. And you can count on us for rally coverage throughout the 75th right around New Center 1. Save big during Menard's Made in the USA sale. Made in Davenport, Iowa, Perina One Smart Blend Dog Food provides the perfect balance of real meat and wholesome grains. Pick up a bag for $27.88. Made in Clinton, Iowa, treat your dog to delicious begging strips. A 40-ounce bag is $12.98. Made in St. Cloud, Minnesota, signature blend bird seed contains sunflower seeds, white millet, peanuts, safflower seeds, and cracked corn. A 40-pound bag is $19.98. Save big money at Menards. 
Want to become a nationally licensed massage therapist in as little as six months? You can when you enroll in the massage therapy program at Headlines Academy, the academy with a proven reputation for successful graduates. Enroll in our October 19th massage therapy class by September 1st and receive a $500 scholarship. Financial aid available to those who qualify. For information on financial aid, scholarships, and gainful employment disclosures, please visit headlinesacademy.com. Are you ready to make headlines? Welcome bikers. Join us every Thursday in downtown Rapid City for the Main Street Square Concert Series. Major event sponsor, Vast Broadband. This Thursday, join us for a free Rally Special Edition concert by Grammy Award-winning Kentucky Headhunters with special guest, the Brandon Sprague Band. Park your bike for free throughout downtown Rapid City all week long and enjoy shopping, dining, and entertainment. Don't miss the Kentucky Headhunters this Thursday in downtown Rapid City. For details, visit MainStreetSquareRC.com. Happy anniversary to me. It's Safeway's anniversary. Happy anniversary to me. But you're the one who's gonna save some serious money. Happy anniversary to me. Now with your club card, ribeye steak in the value pack is $5.88 a pound. Pepsi 24 packs are $4.99. And 59 ounce Tropicana orange juice is $1.99. Happy anniversary to me.